This is a quick video tonight, a bit of an update on the uh, Makita cells I salvaged from the tip. I've uh, broken them down to the point where they've uh, been charged and discharged. You'll see that in my previous videos. What I'm doing now is making packs. So here I've used the separators that were in the uh, batteries to begin with to make packs of 10. So, over here, I've got one already made, soldered together, all ready to go. Currently on the charger, putting 5 amps in it. It'll charge up to 4.2 volts when it's done. The other one there still just charging away. I've only got the one discharger working at the moment, so it's a fairly slow operation. But yeah, we'll uh, get that one charged and discharge him to see how much capacity he's got. Interesting to see. And we'll build another one the same. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep building them at 3.7 until I've got a certain capacity and then match it with better quality cells or whatever. I'm going to buy some new cells uh, just out of generic laptop batteries, I reckon, off uh, eBay. Find a good 6 or 9 cell supply and buy a bunch of them. I've got another one there racked up, ready to go. I only need probably another four cells done on the discharger, and uh, I'll be able to make another. Yeah, I'll uh, post up an update when I uh, get a discharge test on it and complete. Let me know what kind of power we've got, and uh, go from there. Over here is a collection of uh, the ADN650 cells that are under 1 amp hour. So they're pretty poor cells. Now, bearing in mind that the batteries were only 3 amp hour and they had uh, 5 in series, 2 in parallel. So, 1500s, all you're going to get out of any of these on a good day. For example, this is a battery out of a laptop. Also, also a Sony, but uh, yeah, could be years and years old, and I've still got 1850 out of that one. All of these cells in the uh, big fruit bowl here have all taken a good quantity of charge and are up at 4.2 volts, ready for discharge. So, this is the backlog of cells I've got left need to be done. Got some better quality laptop cells. We can't find a brand on those ones. And there's a few Samsungs. Most of those should be good for over 2 ampere. Plenty of generic ones. I think that one was out of a uh, torch I picked up. But I'll go through, get all these tested out to the point where uh, all of those are discharged and graded. If you only get 1 ampere out of them, I'll make super long runtime torch battery or something like that out of it but uh, anything between the 12 and 1500 is definitely going to get used in packs like these to make a fairly substantial 3.7 volt battery pack and uh, then all I do is make the first one capacity match the second one so the second one might not have, it might have more cells or less cells depending on the quality of the cells. So that's what I've been up to with these. I'll uh, discharge this one that's already set up. And make these ones as well, get these complete. And uh, see what kind of capacity we've got. With that said, I could probably 
keep that one as it is build this one build that one no other 12.6 volt battery with no less than if they're a thousand H with 20 of them nothing less than 20 amp hour at 12.6 volts yeah so uh, we'll go from there thanks for watching